Oh, what? Uh, thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. I could show you. I'll show you how to do that right now. Today, I'm going to try and teach you guys how to make dynamic poses for your characters. The first mistake everyone makes is that they make them flat and still because they're afraid to draw hands or legs. So I always try to keep a line of action. And the first go-to that I have is S-shaped and Z-shaped. The reason why I do this is because S's and Z's are really interesting and they're going to take up the entire page and I just think that it's really fun to play with. Oh, how can I put arms here? How can I put legs here? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of feeling it out. What if the character's upside down? What if the character's jumping in the air? What if the character's landing on the floor? Where's their arms? Where's their legs? Just imagine that the arms of S's and Z's are the legs and arms of the character. Keep it fluid, keep it dynamic, and if the arms don't work, try to keep that line of action again. Figure out where the poses really work. That was a really generalized explanation, but that's the first thing I do when I draw.